Arr, you come seeking adventure, matey. Ah, here we go. <laughs> but you won't be getting your hands on me lucky charms. <laughs> wait, wait, are you doing a pirate or a uh, leprechaun? Truly, truly, matey. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I do know yeah. that what I'm drawing today is the helmsman skeleton pirate from the Pirates hmm. of the Caribbean ride in Disney. Yes. So let's go. <laughs> wow, I guess we're just jumping in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot to cover. Yeah. I, and I figured I didn't want to beat people over the head with the entire inking process. Okay, and you've done that before. Yeah. Beat I've, people over the head with it. <laughs> 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 well, I have, I have, I admit it. But uh, I'm going to list all of my tools and materials in the info. As usual. Yeah, And uh, but just as a quick rundown, mm -hmm. I used a brush to do most of the inking because I need the practice. Okay. And I did some of the detail inking with a brush pen I think I have a little more control with those. Okay. And I think some tech pens. So they're the basic inks. These are the basic inks. The line work. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it's a good start, mm -hmm. but I have a lot more to do with it. So I'm rendering this pirate skeleton in ink and watercolor. Okay. But it's ink line and ink wash. Mm. So I diluted some ink with water, and I'm just brushing it on to, to beef up the shadows and create texture, you know. Okay. I love this part of the ride, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah. You called him the Helmsman? The Helmsman. I think that's his official name in the Disney wiki. Okay. You know, he's right near the start of the ride, mm -hmm. uh, standing there on that ruined deck. Right? Hands still grasping the ship's wheel. Ah, it's ghastly. Mm -hmm. His mouth is hanging open <laughs> in a silent scream. Yeah, and it seems like he's washed up on the rocks. I think he is. And the wind's blowing yeah, and rain. Yeah, there's rain. Yeah. It really sets the mood for the whole ride. It really does. Yeah. And I know it seems like we're waxing a little dramatic <laughs> for a theme park ride. Yeah. <laughs> but first of all, it's a really fun ride. One of my favorites. Uh, me too. Yeah. And second, Disney used to do some really rich storytelling mm -hmm. with their theme park rides. Yes. <laughs> this ride in particular has that great cohesive storyline right? start to finish. And it's filled with really well-drawn characters. And a load of atmosphere. Oh, a buttload <laughs> of atmosphere, yes. technically. <laughs> Several buttloads, in fact. Okay, so this is with the wash added. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like yeah, this. Yeah, right? This is like straight up monster art at it this is, point. Yeah, it's starting to feel that way. Yeah. There's definitely a horror mood to it. And speaking of atmosphere. The storm. The storm, <laughs> matey. I'm trying to give the sense of the atmosphere surrounding that particular vignette. Uh -huh. So I'm washing in the idea of storm clouds in the night sky. And this is just that same diluted ink. Yeah, ink and water. Okay. And a larger brush to cover the sky quicker. Okay. I think in the ride, mm -hmm. there is part of the ruined sail hanging behind him, right. I think. But I really just wanted the drama of this figure, the screaming skeleton, standing in front of the backdrop of the storm. Well, I mean... That's pretty dramatic. It's drama, Michelle. Drama. <laughs> I know, drama. I live for it. That's my bottle of rum, matey. <laughs> drama. You know, they've actually changed the story yeah. a few times over the years. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Here and there. Yeah. They made the pirates a little less savage, yeah. I think. Kind of softened them up a little bit. Yeah. And they added stuff from the movies. Uh, not a big fan of that, uh, but whatever. You know, yeah. not, not everyone's going to love the changes. Right, right. Did you know, speaking of changes, uh -huh. that the Disneyland version, they say it used to have actual human bones in the ride. Some, Some of the skeletons were actually human yeah, skeletons, right? Exactly, yeah. right? Uh, I think they removed them, though. Good move. Yeah, yeah. But I'm guessing there's probably people that have an issue with that change as well. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, people, they like what they like. What do you right. think? Right, yeah. Folks, what do you think? What do you miss most about the early versions of the Pirates ride? <laughs> the the auctioning of the town's women <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to pirates? Right. Or, or the actual human body parts that you could float by? Leave a comment. Let us wow. know. They're both awful. Awful. They're awful. It's a tough choice. Yes. Or maybe you're just like me, mm -hmm. and maybe you just miss... The absence yeah. of half a dozen Johnny Depp robots. Oh, I don't know. I could do without it. That's yeah. all I'm saying. <laughs> right. Let us know. Let us know.
All right. So what are you doing with the color here? The color. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just some very subtle watercolor over the inks. Okay. It's really more of a tinting process. Oh. It's kind of similar to how they used to hand tint old black and white photos. Ooh, yeah. You know, I think the inks are doing most of the work here with the values. Right. So the watercolor is there just to add a little richness to all that. Okay. This is a little yellow or mm -hmm. brown on the skeleton. Yeah, just to make him feel a little more real. Mm -hmm. A little less like a Halloween decoration. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, but I'm also tinting him with the blue-green of the sky. Oh, nice. To try to make him feel like he's part of his environment. This looks really good. Mm. This looks finished to me. Yeah, I almost stopped here. Okay. Because, yeah, it, it does look done. Yeah. But I started this whole picture with the hope of inking in some sheeting rain. You know, ah, just like right. a real face stinging storm. So you have to ink in rain now. Eh, I tried. I, like I okay. scanned in this much of it and I modified it digitally to see what it would look like if I, like if I used a white gel pen. Yes. Uh, to, to make rain and it looked terrible. Oh no. Like I tried it a few different ways too. Okay. But it was just too intense. The yeah. inking of the rain is too intense. It was too extreme. Okay. So I, I think I needed something subtle. Yeah. And that's when I remembered colored pencil. Of course. Right? Yes. It's easier to control. Yes. You get a choice of colors. Uh-huh. And I, I kind of went with a cool gray. Oh, nice. Kind of a cool gray that matched the lightest part of the sky. And yeah, this looks like it's going to work. It, well, let's take a look. Oh, yeah. 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 Right? I really like the colored pencil. Yeah. That, that worked out really well. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Mm -hmm. I think it gives you the sense of a raging storm at sea. Yeah. Uh, without being too harsh. And I think that it captures the atmosphere of that section of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Yeah. I like the mat too. Nice touch. Well, honestly, the paper was buckling a little from uh, the wash. Okay. And that just seemed like the nicest way to fix that. Buckling from the wash. Uh huh. So the pirate is a wash buckling Don't. pirate. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. That's honestly terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. That's like a joke that I would have written <laughs> and you'd have said, Don't put that in there. Right. But it, now it's in there. I'm leaving it in <laughs> no, too. No, That's no. all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to take an aspirin. It hurt. It physically hurt me. I feel like that helmsman. I feel like, like I'm I'm wrecked on the rocks, and the stinging rain is your awful joke. Oh, no. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs>